Welcome everybody to Firearms Guide YouTube channel. Today I'll try to do one very quick presentation of two next torch laser light combos for your pistols with Glock rail or with 1913 rail. First model is WL21G and that one uh, don't have a uh, rechargeable battery installed inside of the uh, uh, inside of the package. It actually have exchangeable uh, uh, CR123A battery. And the second model is WL22R and that, that model comes with pre-installed lithium ion rechargeable battery inside of the body of the combo itself. So you cannot change the battery, you can just recharge it every time you want. Both of those comes with the completely same technical specification when it comes down to a power of the light and the laser. It actually provides you with 650 lumens of light and with a green or red laser, depending which one. For example, this one is G, that's with the green laser. This one is with uh, R22R, uh, this one is with a red laser. So, uh, both of those are uh, brand new products uh, made to be mounted on your pistol. So, let's open and present them. First, we're going to open 22 1G. This one, okay, let's unbox it and let me show you what's inside. Okay. Okay, here it is. First, USB uh, uh, recharging cable. Then here in the package, you have a small CR123A battery, but this one, it's not disposable. This one is actually rechargeable. It's a lithium ion battery. Every time when it's empty, you simply plug in provided cable, you plug it in your PC or a cell phone charger, whatever, and you're gonna charge it. And that's fantastic. So you don't have to buy those. And there is a body, I mean the combo right here and the manual right here on the bottom, and of course, Allen wrench key and some O-rings on the bottom. So, when it comes down to uh, how to, uh, you know, change the batteries, this one is actually the one type that I like, and that's that you have to unscrew the front cap with the light and with the glass, you put in the battery right here, and you put it and then you unscrew the top back and your combo is ready to go. Now, let me show you. Combo is made from a plastic. This is, of course, the budget line, you know, so it's a little bit rudimentary feeling. You can feel it that it's not as sophisticated as some streamlight product. You know, it's a little bit bulky, a little bit heavier and the manufacturing quality, it's um, great when it comes down to a uh, pure function of the uh, unit, but it's kind of like a bulky and you can feel it that it's not exactly uh, a top end product you know before i take down uh, the tlr 8 from a streamlight i just want to show you how big is this next torch next to it so check it out it is bigger bulkier dimension wise bigger look if i want to put it this way so that it's completely same here it protrudes much more so this is a budget light, uh, light and laser combo. Don't forget that. And because it's a budget light, uh, light and laser combo, it's bigger and it's heavier. Uh, production quality, when it comes down to the finest possible detail, is not up to the level with a, uh, with a streamlight product, but that is also reflected in a price. We when you need a guns and ammo reference guide with tech specs and ballistics, or gun values 30 to 100%, and to print out over 22,000 gun manuals, schematics, blueprints with dimensions, and old guns and ammo catalogs, go to firearmsguide.com. And here it is mounted on my Zig SP2022. So as you can see, it is bigger, bulkier light. Sadly, I cannot move it even uh, more back towards the trigger of a gun because the rail key simply locks it here. And if I want to lock it with another, a slot with a rail key then it uh, hits the uh, trigger guard and it simply cannot go anywhere closer to my uh, trigger so this is the closest possible position to a pistol grip and to a trigger and now let's check it out battery it's inside the dimensions are what they are it protrudes a little bit in front of my uh, muzzle of my pistol and here it is you know if i want to just tap it right here i can turn the light on and you can see clearly 
and on the opposite side it's also not hard at all to turn on the light and to turn it off the problem personally with me is that laser it's a little bit too low i kind of have a problem to switch a finger all the way down to be able to turn on the laser and the same it's here maybe it's even uh, easier uh, for me with my thumb on my left hand side but it may be kind of even uh, 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 it's how would i say it's pretty low maybe you will get into the grip with uh, uh, with a little bit of training but first impressions are that it's kind of hard to turn on the laser because the laser button is quite low while the light uh, pedal is placed phenomenally it's right there maybe that's not a problem for some of you maybe it would not be a problem for me maybe it takes a little bit of training but on this side it's kind of really low and i can barely barely uh, touch it with my finger i don't know how would that work in a high stress situation you know because even now when i'm doing the demonstration i can barely do that but it is what it is and so this is the next torch model uh wl21 so let's now compare the weight of a unit unit with the battery 4.3 ounces now let's put the streamlight tlr8 2.5 ounces now let's check out the wl22r this is a red laser and light combo with a fixed rechargeable uh battery same technical specifications like the previous model 650 lumens output uh red laser instead of the green uh one uh, this one has built-in 250 milliampere rechargeable battery px4 waterproofed one meter impact resistant so okay allen wrench key let's see what else do we have in the box manual charging cable all less important stuff and then the combo right here this combo is much smaller dimension wise than the previous one let's compare it with the streamlight it's the same size probably even a little bit uh, smaller now let's compare the weight of both units okay this next torch wl22 is 2.6 ounces streamlight tlr8 my favorite 2.6 ounces what it's also super cool to let you know about uh, our firearms guide online edition activation card if you are a blogger if you are a youtuber if you own the gun shop or if you have a web shop where you're selling different products think about firearms guide activation cards you can easily double or triple your money buy a brick like this with the 50 cards or less you can try with 10 or 20 and then you can sell them in your store or through your blog through your newsletter however you want even if you have a brick and mortar shop sell them in your shop your buyers can buy them for cash at home they can scratch off the material on the back there will be activation code and they can use that activation code to anonymously activate and then anonymously use the newest edition of the firearms guide at firearmsguide.com with free updates fantastic stuff for them nobody can track them what they do over 24,000 printable zoomable gun schematics blueprints manuals antique gun catalogs antique ammo catalogs all of that gun values just like a blue book on top of that world largest uh, firearms and ammunition reference guide that at this moment presents over 80,000 antique and modern guns and ammo from over 1740 different manufacturers worldwide buy these cards sell them double and triple your money okay now i mounted the next torch wl22r on my handgun uh, it's mounted on zig sp2022 looks great in every respect very nice really small proportion wise it's also relatively light simple controls just one button here and the second button here and a recharging port right here on the bottom the way how you can run through the modes is that you have to click on both sides simultaneously so you click on it and then you can switch to a different mode for example now it's a laser only turning off the laser can be done with your 
thumb of the left hand side or if you press the uh, same button on the right hand side with your index, index finger it's right here when you want to change to a different setup again both buttons at the same time so now this is a light only this is a, if i'm not wrong let me see no this is a light only laser laser and a light okay so this would be the laser and the light setup and when you leave it in that mode it will remember that mode and the next time when you click it it's gonna be in that mode so let me switch it back to the laser that it's easier for the camera again now turn it off turn it on on the opposite side again same thing you simply turn it off and turn it on this model i like a lot price is fantastic half of the price of uh, well-known brands so if i would uh, if i would uh, buy something on the very limited budget you know i would buy this model next torch wl22r and now my final thoughts on next torch uh, two laser light combos uh, wl21g with exchangeable cr 123a battery that it's also lithium ion rechargeable battery or the model wl22r with a rail uh, with a red laser but with a built-in 250 milliampere rechargeable battery uh, of course you have to know these are the budget lights with much lower price than you know top end brands on the market so you have to take that in consideration for some of you you will like more the one with the exchangeable battery my personal opinion is i like 22r uh, mode uh, model more it's so small so light that it's incredible looks great feels great comments are very simple i like everything about this light and especially i like the price that i cannot tell you here in my youtube video i don't want to get strike on my youtube channel so price is excellent model is excellent super small super light if the one if the little bit bulkier and heavier model with exchangeable battery works for you hey why not your opinion works exactly the same as mine you choose what you like uh, and don't listen to me i just wanted to show you both of this model so check it out next torch models